guys, we are back again with a build of unit trade flow for canolytic paving. So we are going today, on today's tutorial, we are going to build up a unit rate, which is that eight millimeter thick canolytic paving. And we have been given a ratio of one is to two and a half, and we are building the unit rate in square meters. So welcome back again to my channel. My name is Christine. Can you, if you are new, and you have not subscribed, just press that subscription button. So we have the data here for the rate that we are going to build. We have the cost of cement, that is for 50 kg bag, that is 600 shillings. And then we have the cost of 100 kgs granolytic chippings, that is 700 shillings. And then we have And then we have higher charges for 200 liters mixer, excluding operational attendance, that is 7,000 per day. Non-productive time of the mixer, that is a fifth of a day. Cycle time of the mixer, five minutes. Density of cement, 1,440 kgs per cubic meters. Density of granite chippings, 1,440 kgs per cubic meter, skilled labor 150 per hour and skilled labor 50 shillings per hour, cutting core excavated material 500 shillings per cubic meter and then the width of the trench for service pipe is 750 millimeters. So this is the data that we are going to use to build up that unit rate. And then we have some notes here we've been told to ignore timbering and then assume any other necessary information. So we are going to start with the materials. And as you can see, our rate is one is to two and a half. This is one cement to two grano chippings. So let's go to the material. We have the mix of one is to two and a half. That is one cubic meter cubic of cement and two and a half cubic meter of grano. So let's find the cost of the material for cement. The, weight is 50 kgs so for 50 kgs it goes at 600 it goes at 600 and then the density is 14 1440 so to find the the cost per kg we take the density we divide by by divide by 50 sorry the cost per meter cubic we divide by 50 and then we multiply by by the cost so one meter cubic, it will be for one times 1440 divided by 50 times 600. That gives us 17,280. And then for grano, we have two and a half meter cubic. That is two and a half. The density was also 1440 over 100. Then we multiply by the cost. That is 700. That gives us 25,200. So the cost of the material will be the cost of cement plus the cost of Rano, that is giving us 42,418. And then we allow for 25% shrinkage and waste, 25% of 42,480, 42, that is 10,620. So the total will be 42,480 mm -hmm. plus 10,620, that gives us 53,100. Now let's get in for unloading for the cement and the grano. We are going to allow two hours for each, that is for cement and for grano. For, so the one we are unloading, that is skilled labor. And for skilled labor, our rate is 50 shillings per hour. So we have 50 for two, that is 100. And then for grano, 50 for two is 100, that gives us 200. So the total material plus unloading will be Whatever we had here, that was the total cost, 53,100, and then plus 200, that gives us 53,300. Sorry, this is 300. Remember to, to, to place your calculations on this other end. Now, the total ratio is 1 plus 2.5. That gives us a ratio of 3.5. So, 3.5, this 3.5 here is what goes at 53. 300. Three and a half cubic meters is what goes at 53, 300. So if three and a half meter cubic, cubic meters is 53, four, 
1,400. What about one cubic meter? So it's 1 times 53, 400 divided by 3.5. That gives us 15,228.57. Now, this is the cost per cubic meter. And we are preparing our unit rate in square square meters. So when you want to change from cubic meter to square meters, we simply multiply by the by the thickness of that item. And in this case, our thickness is 38 millimeters. So 38 millimeters, we convert it to millimeters. That is 38 divided by 100. That is, gives us 0 0.038. Now, one meter cubic, one cubic meter is 15. 1228.57 what about one square meter so we multiply the cost of one cubic meter by the thickness of the granule that is 0 0.038 to get 578.69 square meters and then we'll allow for 10 percent slurry waste during the process of preparing the cement and the granule of course the slurry so 10 percent of it that gives us 10% of, of 57, five, sorry, 10 percent of 578.69 will give us 57.87. So the cost of the material now in cube in square meters, in one square meter will be the cost of the material plus the rally that is 578.69 plus 57.87. It gives us 636.57, say say 636.60 now that is the cost of the material now let's go to mixing under mixing we are having a higher charge of 200 liters mixer excluding operational attendance at a cost of 7000 shillings per per day so let's let's find that Higher rate of mixer is 7,000 per day. Assume eight hours working a day. So we are trying to assume any necessary information. So in this case, we are assuming the mixer is going to work for eight hours. So the rate per day, if if hiring it's for a whole day, sorry, the rate per hour will be the cost of the day divided by the number of hours. That is 7,000 divided by eight gives us 875. Operator rate, let's operator rate that is skilled of course 150 per hour assume we have an assist assistant that is unskilled that is 50 per hour so the total will be 200 so hiring plus operator will be 875 plus 200 that gives us 1075 let's go to the mixer output the mixer output what information do we have? We know the capacity is 200 liters here, and then the cycle time is five minutes, and then the non-productive time of the mixer is a fifth a day. Non-productive is non-efficiency. It means a fifth, a fifth of the day the mixer was not was not working. Maybe when they are resting, changing oil, doing all those things that will make the mixer to stop. So let's go to the capacity is 200 liters, that is 0 0.2 meter cubic, cycle time is five minutes, a fifth a day of inefficiency, that is a fifth, that is a fifth times 100, that is 20%. So efficiency, if, if inefficiency is 20%, efficiency then it is 80, 80%, that is 100 minus 20. So let's find the efficiency in meters, in minutes, so it's eight, 80 over 100 times 60 minutes because it's in one hour. Efficiency in one hour will be 48 minutes. So meaning in one hour, the mix is working for 48 minutes. So let's find the number of batches that are produced. So one batch is equal to five minutes. Five minutes, this is our cycle time. And cycle time is the time taken to produce, to produce one Batch. So one batch is five minutes. What about 48 minutes? That is one times 48 over five. It gives us 9.6 batches, say 10. The volume of the mixer is 0 0.2 meter cubic meters. So the volume here is now equivalent to one batch. So if one batch is 0 0.2, what about 10 batches? That is 10 times 0 0.2 gives us two cubic meters per hour. 
and the cost per hour of mixing mixing plus operator is 10.75 sorry the cost per yes the cost per meter cubic per hour so so two meter cubic this is what is equivalent to 10 75 what about one cube one meter cubic that is one times 10 75 divided by two we get 37 537.50 then this is in cubic meters so let's convert it to square meters so one for one square meter it will be the cost in cubic meters times the thickness that is 570 that's 7.50 times 0 0.038 that gives us 20.43 square meters now let's go to placing in placing we are going to assume 15 meters 15 square meters is done that is an assumption and then the gang is two skilled and two unskilled two skilled is two by 150 that is 300 two unskilled is two by if that is 100 that gives us 400 and then we are assuming the 50 cubic square meters to be done in three hours so in an hour we are having 400 400 times three that gives us 1200 so the cost of placing one square meter is if 15 square meters is is at a cost of 1200 what about one one square meter that is one times 1200 over 15 that gives us 80 shillings per square meter so the cost of the material in square meter that is sorry the cost total cost per square meter will be material mixing plus placing so our material was this was our cost of material per square meter that is six thirty six point six zero and then mixing our cost was per hour per square meter was 20.43 and then placing is 80 shillings per meter square so if we add the three we get 737.43 and then we allow for 15 percent polishing that is 15 percent of seven that seven point four seven that seven point four three that gives us 110.63 so the total will be seven that seven point four three plus one ten points six three that gives us eight forty eight point zero six and then we allow for twenty percent profit and overheads that is twenty percent of the total that is eight forty eight point zero six it gives us one eighty six point six one so the total will be eight forty eight point zero six plus one six one sixty nine point six one it gives us a thousand and seventeen point six nine say a thousand and seventeen point seventy now this is the total cost per meter square of that of that granolytic paving which is that eight millimeters so the total cost is a thousand and seventeen point seven zero so guys up to that point we wind our we wind our unit rate and don't forget to subscribe until next time bye bye